Hello and welcome from New Zealand. So far we've spoken with a number of candidates and activists, but we haven't heard directly from the voters, so we're here in Auckland CBD to see what's on voters' minds. So how would you rate the performance of the national government over the past nine years? At a scale of one to ten, probably about five. So I'd say that they've what they've done well is they've bounced the box, but I think they've lost sight of what's really important for a lot of people. So you're wanting a bit more now? Yeah, I, I do actually. I think it's time for a change. Oh, I did pretty well under John Key. I'm not so sure about um, how, yeah. Is it just his personality he hasn't got to do for it? Well, I think it's more that we need time for a change. And he's got so you're, you're satisfied? Very satisfied. Mediocre. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything stunning. I'd, I'd rate their performance poorly. Probably earth more poorly. Well, it's, it seems at the moment that we're seeing more and more things that actually haven't been working very well. So lots of the new policies that they're announcing. Um, I wish they'd actually put them into a Has Labour's changed to the centre of Dern? Has that made you more more likely to vote Labour? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, and I've probably stood more chance for more a negative vote against the National rather than positive vote for her. But she certainly is better than the uh, Labour. Is that just her vision, or how, uh, what, what do you think? Just I think her energy and confidence that comes across, which I think Henry Labour doesn't have. Well, Henry doesn't have. Because it's all promises and no substance. It's still the same Labour to you? It's still the same Labour. Someone else is going to have to train us. I'm in recruitment. If you looked at the job description of the Prime Minister with your experience, she wouldn't get into I wouldn't have considered voting for Labour at all under Andrew Lincoln, um, but now it's absolutely much more viable. Well, what, what do you think that she's got that makes her a lot of Well, I mean, she's much more personable and much more charisma, which makes her message interesting. It's viable, yeah, yeah, it's certainly up to the Labour's chance, yeah, definitely. Uh, what do you think that um, she's got that Andrew Lincoln? Bleedingly obvious, charisma. <laughs> yeah, and that's about all. Is uh, she, she? She's because of her charisma. She is given airtime, and that's the critical thing. I mean, the message hasn't changed a hell of a lot, but uh, the way it's the media are happy to present her, so she's getting her message across. It's probably the same message that Andrew had, but she just speaks it out. And are you tempted to vote for a minor party at all? I'm oh, tempted to vote for friends, but I think we need to vote. We have to wait for the Greens will be the only minor party. I'm in the um, Epsom electorate. So, so therefore, actors from the not minority party, so I'll just be able to get my consideration. That's sort of like an independent, so it's good to have that voice in Parliament and things. Uh, well, any government will need a coalition partner, so we've got to vote for someone. And you're, you're a major party person? Yep. But I've always been right when you're this year. So it's the first time I've ever played. It's a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> me personally? Yeah. Always. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm probably that, uh, what is it? The, uh, that, uh, the swing voter. So um, I, I play my cards closer to the chest until the day. And what are the issues that more are the beauty functions or that we have, we continue to have stability in our um, economic environment, that uh, we continue to go forward with the great work that's been done to date, and it's not meant to be completely turned on its head by a new Labour, inexperienced Labour government that are promising. Uh, so your view is don't rest it. My review is don't rest it. Uh, I think it's changed a little bit because I've got teenage boys, and I'm starting to see um, what New Zealand's like through their eyes and trying to buy a house. Um, I think education needs a bit of a revamp. I think the health system is falling apart. I think the infrastructure problems. And I think anything's been addressed. 
yeah, sleep, the people that sleep on the streets, we need to clear that up and so, yeah, that's something we need to put a lot of effort into. So you're wanting to, I'd say your opinion is that nationals are okay, but you just need a... Yeah, I think we need a change and we also need a woman running the show. Yeah, so the environment, I think the environment's huge, probably is the biggest factor in this election. It's never been as big for me as it is now. I think the I think the general inequality in our society is a big, big issue. Um, I think environmental things like the water is real, um, and so I think I think it's that dominance of um, corporation over society is a big issue that we need to resolve globally as well as locally. So yeah, I think the the water, the quality in society, you know, financially, those things matter. Well, that's the view from the streets of Auckland. As you heard, the general vibe is that National's done an okay job, but they're looking for something more uh, from their leaders. Uh, whether Labor can deliver it, well, I, I don't think that's the, the best option, but that's certainly what's on uh, voters' minds. So it's certainly going to be an interesting conclusion to uh, this election, and we'll see if uh, many of these predictions come true. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.